Hello guys and welcome back to CBox tutorial channel. It's our situation 11 game again, okay, from CE board exam May 2022. So before we uh we start to solve this situation, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. This is our situation 11. So from the figure below, the given data or data are the following. V1 is equivalent to 1.8 kN and V2 is 0.90 kN. V3 is equivalent to 0.45 kN. Beta, okay, so this is beta, is equivalent to 45 degrees and theta is equivalent to 30 degrees. So, um, kung papansin natin dito sa ating, ano, uh, this is not a 3 hinge arch, okay? So, this is, um, arch pero ang kanyang um, support is isang pin and isang roller. So, this is a simply supported arch. Okay? So, this is not a hinge arch. So, ibig sabihin, we don't need to isolate the members. Kasi, as you can see here, this, there is only one member. And this is the member A, D, B. Okay? So, number one, determine the resultant of the three forces, P1, P2, and P3. So, saan nga ba natin unang natutunan ang resultant? Okay? So, una natin natutunan ng resultant sa statics of rigid bodies under chapter 2. Resultant of force system. So, number 1, kung resultant na pinapakuha, R is equivalent to square root of summation of forces vertical squared plus summation of forces horizontal squared. At yung mga given naman natin is isang vertical, then dalawang inclined. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating force system ay may effect in, term, in terms of vertical and horizontal kasi merong horizontal components yung P3 and P1. So, convert natin to. And yes, by the way, yung ating P2, P3, and P1, kapag in-extend mo yung kanilang mga line of action, mag-meet sila sa point na to. Which is the center of okay, center ng ating arch. Okay, so ito naman, um, Okay, yes. Yun nga, i-extend natin yung line of action nila. So, kapag in-extend natin, ibig sabihin, yung effect ng P1, P2, and P3 is uh, sa kahit saang point na yun. Okay? So, we can locate P1 here, P2 here, and P3 here. So, ang P3 natin, 0.45 kN. Ang ating P2 is 0.90 kN. And P1 is equivalent to 1.80 Kilonewton. Then, ang ating ano, uh, theta is 30 degrees. Ang ating beta is equivalent to 45 degrees. So, ngayon, ito yung vertical component ng 1.8. Horizontal component ng 1.8. Ito naman yung vertical component ng 0.45. And horizontal component ng 0.45. So, natin. Mas madali sa ano, 0.45 kasi naka 45 degrees eh. So, equal ang vertical and uh, horizontal component niya. So, 0 0.318. 0 0.318. Also equivalent to 0.318. Then, sa 1.80 naman, so ang kanyang vertical is opposite no, sa kanyang 30 degrees or sa inclination. So, kung opposite, therefore, 1.80 uh, times sine of 30 degrees. So, this is 0.90. Then, kanyang horizontal component naman ay adjacent sa 30. So, for cosine. 1.559. So, check natin. 1.559. Okay. Yan. So, masasolve na natin yung ating summation of forces, vertical and horizontal. Assume natin, lahat ng upward ay positive for vertical. Then, for horizontal, summation of forces horizontal, lahat ng to the right is positive. So, lahat ng vertical downward, no? So, negative 0.80 minus uh, 0.90. Ah, sorry. 0.90 pala. Parehas. Okay. Minus 0.318. So, this is negative 2.1. Uh, negative 2.118. Kilo newton. So, since negative yan, ang direction ng ating effect para sa force system is downward. Sa horizontal naman, okay, 1.559, positive. 
then 0.318 this is say 1.241 kilonewton so since positive to ang nag-govern na effect in terms of horizontal is to the right Okay, so masasabi na natin yung ating resultant. So this is square root of 2.118 squared plus 1.241 squared. So 2.455. So tama namin nakuha natin. So 2.455 ba? Oh, okay, 55 kilo newton. So ang direction nito is downward to the right. Downward to the right. So, sa, ano, sa board exam, hindi naman uh, usually pinapahanap. Pero, at least, diba, kung sakali mang ipa-require yung direction, ayan, tinuro natin kung saan magagaling yung direction ng resultant. So, ulitin nyo lang, or uh, balikan lang natin yung concept ng resultant. So, kapag sinabi natin resultant, yun yung effect ng core system in terms of vertical and horizontal. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano ang direction ng vertical and horizontal natin, or yung effect, ng mga forces in terms of vertical and horizontal, yun din yung magiging direction ng ating resultant. Okay? So, number two, determine the vertical reaction at B. So, um, ano ba ang B natin? This is a roller, hindi ba? So, since ang ating roller is merong horizontal surface, therefore, ang kanyang um, reaction is vertical, which is perpendicular to horizontal surface, or B. Okay? Actually, ito sa number 3 na, na tanong, determine the horizontal reaction at B. Wala naman tayong horizontal reaction at B since this is a roller. Okay? Not unless kung ang ating ano dyan, um, surface is naka-inclined. Merong vertical and horizontal component yung reaction na RB. Kaso hindi eh. Naka-horizontal lang siya. Kaya vertical lang ang kanyang reaction. Yung merong horizontal reaction is yung pin A. So this is A. And this is horizontal reaction AH. Okay, so ang pinapahanap RB. So actually nakuha na natin yung sagot agad dito sa no, sa number 3. This is equivalent to 0. So number 2 tayo, solve natin yung RB. So pwede na tayong mag um summation of moment at A. So summation of moment at A is equivalent to 0. Clockwise is positive. So ang rotation ng RB sa A is counterclockwise. So that is negative RB multiplied by 2 meters. Then, ano ba ba yung iikot sa A? Yung mga vertical forces natin. That is 0 0.9, 0 0.9, no? Ah, yes. Para, para sa naman sila na ang moment arm with respect to A is yung kalahati ng 2 meters, which is 1 meter. So, mag a lang silang lahat. Okay? So, 1 meter divided by 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.18 is equivalent to 0. Okay, so negative RB multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 0.9 plus 0.9 plus A1 equivalent to 0. Kung so, nakuha natin sagot is 1.059. Ating RB is equivalent to positive 1.059. Kapag niround off natin to 1.06 which malapit sa 1.07. So matter of rounding off the numbers na lang to or answers, okay? So, since positive ang ating RB, therefore, ang ating um, assumed direction for RB is tama. So, ito ay directed upward. Okay? Ngayon, kung sakali man na pinapasob yung sa A, okay lang din naman. So, try natin ano, um, parang problem number 4. Ayan. So, kung sasob natin ang ating AB, so we will use summation of forces vertical is equivalent to 0. Upward is positive. AB then plus 1.059, that is RB, then minus 0.9, minus 0.9, minus 0.318 is equivalent to 0. So, 1.059 minus 9 multiplied by 2 minus 0.318. So, 1.059, okay? Bakit? Kasi kung napapansin ninyo, um, 0.9 nandito, no? ba Sa gitna. Then, ito, 0.318. So, ibig sabihin, since itong vertical forces na to ay nasa gitna, ibig sabihin, yung ating AB and RB ay maghahati lang din. Okay? Kaya, pare sila ng 
value ng reaction. Siguro yun yung dahilan kung bakit hindi na pinahanap yung reaction sa AB. Anyway, kung gusto namang ipahanap yung AH, madali lang din naman, by summation of forces, horizontal is equivalent to 0 tayo, then to the right is positive. So, AH natin is positive kasi assumption natin dito to the right, then plus 1.559 minus 0.318 is equivalent to 0. Ibig sabihin ng AH natin is equivalent to summation of FH which is 1.241 kilo newton. Kaso, negative ang lalabas dito. Kasi, obvious naman na ang mas may kailangan ng tulong in terms of um, equilibrium is yung 0.318. Therefore, ang ating AH is hindi dapat to the right. It should be directed. Kaya nag-negative yung ating sagot. Tapos, kung meron naman akong mga nakikita ano, um, ibang problem about sa ganito, pinapasolve yung moment. Kumara, dito sa point C. Okay lang din naman, parang iti-treat lang natin as beam to. Kung gagawin natin dito, mag-moment tayo dito at specific point. Yung concept ng shear and moment at specific point. Tapos na sa inyo, kung gusto ninyo yung left section or sa right section. Siguro ako, ang pipiliin ko rito is yung right section. Kapag right section, ibig sabihin, ang involved lang is yung P3 sa yung RB. So ngayon, ang gagamitin natin, imbis yung P3 na nandito, syempre yung components ng P3 na 0.318 sa yung N. Paras palang 0.318. Saka na mag-moment. Syempre, dapat involved lang din yung RB. So ganun lang naman siya ka sim. Kasi minsan, Ang gagawin kasi dyan ng estudyante, yung P1 and P3, dito na niya ano. Okay, dito niya ilalagay yung components ng P1 and P3. So, medyo ano yun, uh, medyo complicated. Okay, so kung alam niyo ang concept ng ano, ng, ah, uh, ito, yung concept ng line of action under the status of rigid bodies, pwede ninyong um, i-move ang P3 dito, saka yung P1, pati rin yung Yung iba, ganyan ang gagawin. Then, isosolve pa ito. Ayan. Isosolve pa ito mga distances na ito. Sabi ito y1. Then ito, distance na ito. x1. Ito. Um, y2. Ang distance na ito. x2. So, komplikado. Masyadong, ano, uh, masyadong patagal and mahaba-haba yung magiging solution mo. Compare dito sa ganitong kasimpleng solution. Okay. So, ayun. So, if you learned and enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye!